Hello, welcome to another modern stream. Today we're going to be playing some Elementals. This is uh, what I consider a very underplayed deck right now. I think this deck is actually excellent, and I've been having a lot of success, success with it lately. Uh, but it has fallen off the radar a little bit, it, knowing, knowing small, in, in small reason because of the presence of Tron. And Monogreen Tron is actually a problematic matchup for, for a deck like this. Uh, but we have the, the usual suspects, Recent Reef as the, the engine, we also have um, the Fairy Time Raveler as a way to... Um, it has some synergy with the elementals, you can bounce your own elementals and then replay them, and it also allows you to do all sorts of ephemerate shenanigans um, completely unimpeded. Uh, we have Omnath, which is kind of the best card in the deck, it's, it pitches to all of our pitch elementals, uh, while at the same time just being like a, a just massive threat. Uh, we can also do a bunch of combos where you ephemerate your own uh, Omnath in order to reset it and get more lands, putting more lands into play thanks to Recent Reef. Uh, you can kind of go off that way and you can make a ton of mana and just actually kill your opponent thanks to the, the third clause in Omnath. And then the good pitch elementals uh, that we're playing are Solitude, we're playing full four copies of Solitude, full four copies of Fury. both of these are absolutely excellent, uh, very very strong, and um, are what, what enable the deck to interact in the early games, as you see the, the curve for the deck is not the smoothest, but being able to interact in the early games thanks to Fury Solitude. And Prismatic Ending. Prismatic Ending also has uh, the possibility of answering stuff like Torpor, which can be problematic, so it's, it's a big, big deal that we have access to uh, actual removal in the decklist. Um, Endurance is there as a one of which we can find with Flame King Harbinger. Uh, this card is not great, that's why we're only playing two copies, but it allows us to consistently get our recent Reef engine going because it allows it, us to tutor it or it allows us to find our one of uh, Endurance, or like whichever elementals we're in need of. Uh, the one of fun of Moldrifter is there to accrue some, some card advantage, and uh, paying three mana to play Moldrifter and then Ephemerate it, it's... Oof, it's really good. I strongly recommend it. The Cyber includes Alpine Moon, I already talked about how Tron is an issue, so we're playing multiple copies of that. Force of Negation against the combo decks, Endurance against, uh, well, the decks that Endurance is good against, which are actually a lot. Foundation Breaker, which is an elemental, so we can tutor for it with Flimkin Harbinger. A couple of Forces of Vigor, and a copy of Engine Explosives, and an extra copy of Mold Drifter in the sideboard for the grinding matchups. Uh, we are, of course, a Kahira deck. Do not forget about Kahira. Um, Kahira also pitches to both Endurance and Solitude, so obviously, obviously a very, very good card. Uh, but no, it, it actually matters. Sometimes you can cast it and you can actually turn the clock, uh, turn the corner very, very quickly thanks to Kahira, uh, adding a bunch of pressure to the board. Uh, that's gonna be the league that we're gonna be playing today. Uh, I may have to stop it midway, um, but I'm gonna, you know, at least finish the match. So if you're watching on YouTube, it shouldn't be a problem, you're gonna get to watch all of the matches. Uh, but yeah, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you for round number one. All right, here we go for round number one. Yeah, the sand looks pretty good. So you can go turn one basic forest into Utopis Pro. Grenade Blue. And then we can go turn to Teferi of a Sacred Foundry. Do you think there would be a Vandy Modern? Um, I mean, I wish that there was. I think that I, I wish Lurus got, got banned. That's the only thing. <laughs> it probably won't get banned, but I, I really wish it did. Good. Sacred Foundry here. Play Tiff. Minus. Nice. Play DRC. Plur plurally, we're going to see a bolt here. Or a heat. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Just gonna go get reason brief. I think we're just gonna make the same play again. Could have gone to Nomnath there. Maybe that would have been better actually. Of course, in hand, we know real restriction for Mother is messed up. Yeah. I think that it's soulful that it exists, but. Very nice. So we're gonna need to have three green sources next turn. Because <clears throat> my plan is to do recent reef plus endurance next turn. So I think I'm just gonna fetch for <clears throat> I'm gonna fetch for um, the Trium. And then we can fetch for another basic forest. Keep my opponents playing around. Um, they're playing around the uh, ephemerid here. I tapped wrong, I should have tapped both of this. Tapped wrong here. Let me play. Attack. <clears throat> if they fetch, I'm just gonna endurance. Is money version with monkey? No. Flame King for Omnath. Yeah, I'm gonna do that next turn. <clears throat> so this is probably gonna bait um, a counter spell. Five. If their hand is double lightning bolt, sweet, they got me. It's pretty good. Blue. So I think I, I have to guarantee that I gain life, so I'm going to do that first. Blue, green, white, red, because I don't want it to get countered. Because now my opponent could have a holy hit, so that, that should probably be game. That's strong. It's quite quite strong. We are done here. We are done. Uh, 
Oh, that's what I was gonna pitch. Cool. <laughs> that's what I was gonna what I was gonna find with the with the harbinger, so I don't so I don't just randomly lose to bolts or something. Uh, so, so I think I want definitely want the endurances. These are very good. And explosives is somewhat interesting. It only kills the one drops, so I don't. I don't think I'm gonna keep this. I do want foundation breaker because they're gonna probably gonna bring, bring it in blood moon. And kind of like mold drifters. Can cut the harbingers. Which sucks because it means that we have less cards to pitch to Fury, but that's fine. Like Fury is still really good to hard cast in this matchup. Same with Endurance. And three more cards. We could shave a land. But if I shave a land, I would make sure that it's not a forest land. Um, we probably don't want to shave Cavern of Souls in this matchup either. I'm just gonna leave the lens. Three cards. Hmm. That's actually just got the foundation breaker. If we cut the Harbingers, then the value of Foundation Breaker goes down considerably. Alright, what do we got? Mark tight opponents. Oh, look at that. This is Bubbleless Live. New episode is live. Sure, I keep this hand. We have the answer to the turn one monkey or DRC. We have good mana, even through Blood Moon. Yeah, this is looking good. How you doing, Kevin? Yeah, yeah. Gonna be streaming for at least one more hour. Maybe a little bit more for that, than an hour. What about yesterday leak? How did it go? Why did I remove Ragaman? Um, I'm trying this card. Monkey was fine, but it was just only okay, really. It was very good against Strong. It was very good against Strong, which is which is definitely something to keep in mind for sure. Definitely it is something that matters. Because Tron is like one of our bad matchups, so having a card that actually shines in one of our bad matchups is, is a good thing. <laughs> this card me looking for a land. Desperate times, etc. Good stomping ground. Another question is do I want to get monkey or do I want to get... Well, I, I think I'm just going to kill the monkey here. Let 
The question is, do I want to play around Blood Moon or not? I think that I don't. I'm definitely going to get punished for that, but, you know, it's the life that I chose. What is in the deck now instead of Monkey? Uh, one more removal spell and Flame King Harbingers. More recent reefs. I'm gonna play around Bloodmere a little bit here, mostly because I can. I think we may be about to get Blood Moon right now, which makes me feel smart now. Oh, no, maybe not. Let me just get Merc tied. So if we draw Solitude, I think the game just ends. So the goal here is to draw Solitude. 7-7 seven, seven Merc tied. I could draw two and blink. I think I'm just gonna do this. Solitude, no. Oh, but that works actually. Cause now I can do this, deal four, trigger on the stack, blink, deal four more. Put that into play. Sweet. Play that tap table. Awesome. Anger of the gods. Not bad for sure. Not bad for sure. Ephemerate goes to waste. Still seems like a good deal for me, though. This may get blown out by an unholy heat, but we still have Moldrifter, and if they hit this, then they don't hit this. Okay. Exile a Windswept Heath. All right, so they have a monkey in hand. That's a very good draw. Four, five. Cast Mole Drifter. Draw two. Plus. Play this. Dabbed. Say go. If I don't have to, I'm not going to endurance. Because if they have heat, we can blow them out. Sure. We don't. We do know they have monkey in hand. Something something really strange would need to happen here for me to lose this game, I think. Also, my point is at 6. How the hell are they at 6 right now? How much damage did they take from their, their freaking Fiery Eyelids? Are they just playing Blood Moon as mana fixing? So they don't take infinite damage? <laughs> That's very funny. 
This is also five damage. Sweet. See you for the next round. All right, round number two. Playing against Lurus. Everybody most beloved cat. Lucas and say thank you for that follow. DRC. Is this life total control? It is life total control. Life total control. <clears throat> Gobo. Prismatic ending. Sweet. Play that tap take oh. So my best draw obviously is Somnath. I'd find some nef. All right, Omnath off the top one time. Don't have serum blaze. All right, it's not looking good out here. It is not looking good. Just gonna solitude. Omnath, Omnath one time please. Down to three we go. Omnath off the top. Technically not dead. Can we be hopeful here? Can we be hopeful that we're technically not dead? Please have nothing. Even though my opponent has missed land drops twice. <laughs> Please somehow have nothing. Eidolon. Play an Eidolon. Damn it. Forces. <laughs> Bring any foundation breaker because he blows up Eidolon and it also blows up uh, the other guy. It blows up um, Rolling Vortex. Cut a couple of the fairies. I was close. Um, 
double solitude but nothing really to do with it I guess this is better we definitely have to find land though definitely have to find the land Gobo. All right, Gobo. Hook me up. Easy. So we can't solely to the family, unfortunately. Okay. Slot. Is that a white card? Foundation breaker. It's not a white card. We were so close. We were so close. I may have to solitude a pitching ephemerate here if my opponent goes for the attacks, I guess. Land and prismatic ending. I don't think it's, this is going to come down to card advantage. So we can go... Oh, I can't hold up force. So I'm going to have to do this. And prismatic ending the swift spear. This is not looking good though. I really need a blue card there so I could protect myself, but <laughs> yep. Ah, yeah, yeah. dead so I can draw exactly Omnath off the top if I draw exactly Omnath maybe we can get back into this game but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hard cast force on whatever spell they play Omnath okay there's an Omnath under this cavern of souls I know it you know it chat it's just known oh no they have an instant I can't beat an instant. All right. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. We never saw an Omnath in two, in two games. Maybe I should have mulligan more aggressively for an Omnath. Anyway, see you next round. All right, here we go. Excellent hand. Astonishing hand. Turn one. You dop a scroll named Blue. Turn to recent brief. Mm. 
The turn one you top is pro hands. Always look very, very good. Adi the Mesa. Maybe we'll flip a land off of this recent reef. Maybe we'll flip a land. Land. That is strong. Um, so this needs to be probably Sacred Foundry, I think. Green, blue, red, white. Pretty good turn two. If they can't kill this, Oh, this must be the the Velomachus deck, and we have double Solitude, so that's pretty good. Probably just gonna hard cast Mold Drifter, I think. Fairy. So I think the play here is to Thanks here for the blue trilogy. No, my pleasure, Jeff Gad. It was actually fun. I had a good time. So I'm just gonna hardcast Fury here, get rid of both walkers. So, if they play Ember Cool, we don't really care. We just untap, we solitude it, and we keep on chugging along. Let's actually do this. Fetch. Forest. And now what we can do is evoke Mold Drifter and Ephemerate it. The best feeling. <laughs> it's probably a little bit too cute, but I, I kind of kind resist. Never mind. I'm a genius and I drew a bunch of white cards, so. This is just great. Your go! Yeah, I could have... I, 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 ju I just stopped wrong, but like I, I was also thinking that I can draw the Harbinger. So I guess because of thinking about that, I should have left this up. Just got lazy. 
But yeah, we could have done blue, tap, tap, and then we tap this for white. I don't think it really matters. I, I just don't think my opponent can win this game anymore. Nothing really matters what I said yesterday versus Hammer. Shh, we don't talk about that match. We do not talk about the match versus Hammer from the other day. We do not talk about the match versus Hammer from yesterday. Oh, sweet. So tap sprawl for white I guess red play on math Suffers of the 37 lands. There's no such thing as too many lands. So it couldn't have been that. So this makes a bunch of mana. Oh, it's your thingy. Matic ending that thingy. Should our prismatic ending the clue as well? For value. <laughs> Too many lands. <laughs> That's like the best comment ever. <laughs> that was awesome. Just ran too many lands was just randomly lurking <laughs> as I said that. <laughs> Opponent is trying. Opponent is really, really trying. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Red, red. So they can't cast bold, so. We can also prismatic ending on instant speed if, we, if for whatever reason we want to. Awesome snowball when this deck starts the engine. Yeah, it, it's pretty much unstoppable once it gets going. And we don't even have a, a recent reef going on right now, right? So we're playing against the Villamacus deck. 
Wait, is this just good? I mean, it can name Dwarven Mine, but then they can just make tokens with other stuff, like Prismari Command and shit, so this is just better. Durans doesn't do anything. The fairy is great. I don't think I want to cut Flamekins because Solitude seems extremely, extremely important, so... Fury was actually pretty good that game, but I think that Solitude is just way more important. I have yet to put Kahira into my hand. I have yet to put Kahira into my hand. It hasn't been doing much. <laughs> it hasn't really been doing much. Elementals is kind of like slivers. Yes, yes, yes. It has kind of like that type of synergy where they they just snowball out of control pretty sweet i love this deck i think this is, if i had a competitive event this is what i would play like if the if the showcases were this this weekend i would probably play some form of elementals It'd be awesome to draw Utopia's Pearl there, but it's fine. I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Ren is pretty good here. It's probably worth killing the Ren, right? If they have a second Ren, this is a disaster, but... Maybe I should be keeping in some more Prismatic Endings. Complaint recent reef here because I can hide it to fairy. They drew their basic plane, so they can't. So that probably means that we are dead next turn. Actually, not now. Ha! Huh. Now we're good. Because now um, Velomachus can kill the fairy, but they can't do. 
like they can't cast the time warp off of it. But now my opponent can um, x equals two. Wait, why would they bounce their own clue? Time warp. Okay. And we can't really do anything, so. Okay. Ending's pretty good here. Oh, the ending, the recent reef. Oh, because now the dwarf can attack the Teferi. Yeah, that's that's very, very strong for them. That's super good for them. Huh. It's getting rough out here. Omnef? Yeah. Just gonna draw some cards. Like if they have it, they have it. There's nothing I can do because of the Teferi. So I'm just gonna take this turn to draw some cards. Hopefully find an Omnef. Another Fury would be good too. If as soon as they find creativity, I'm I'm just dead. But if they keep whiffing on creativity, then maybe we're fine. Oh, now? I was going to say, now they can actually whiff with creativity. Okay. Okay, so forest, fetch first. White, white, gonna hard cast solitude. Yeah, yeah, but they, they actually have Velomachus. So the Velomachus actually gets us. Go with Omnef. Pawn is down to one card. They can get a clue. So the thing is that they have one copy of Velomachus and one copy of Evercool. So they play the they uh, creativity x equals two, targeting two of their dudes, and then they um, they get both the Velomachus and the Evercool. And then uh, they hopefully attack and they find uh, the, what's his name? The time warp. They take it from there. Corner man, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. My alert's not working. I feel like my alerts aren't working. I mean... White. Very nice. Fetch Hallowed Fountain. If we find the land here, we get to ping the death. It's not bad. It's another good one. They have the counter for this one. Remand. Wow, they didn't remand it recently? I 
that's wild to me that they didn't remand the recent reef. I had managed to replay it. Yeah, but that just taps me out, right? They are trying to draw into the creativity. So anything that they can do to draw a card is just good for them. <laughs> Pony just keeps drawing the Velomachus. I mean, if they, if they whiff on this time warp, they used one time warp array. They found it. Oh, okay. Only two time warps left. Only two time warps left. They used three already. So this is probably a whiff because my opponent's tanking a little bit here. So I'm assuming that they whiffed. That's pretty good. They bounce their own dude. That's some next level shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to draw a fetch land here. They used the fairy already. They have Nahiri too. Oh no, they have. Uh, huh. So I can bounce a token. I'm bouncing something for sure. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bounce a token. And just eat the Embercool. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah, but if I bounce Simbra cool, if my opponent has um if they have Nahiri, they can discard it and it's it's it can be a problem. So by just exiling it, like it's not like my opponent like once I get rid of both their creatures, that's it, right? Once once I get rid of both of their creatures, that's it. They they can't really win anymore. So here they play the Velomachus. And they should probably attack the fairy. They can't cast the time warp as long as I have this Teferi in play. They have an hour fire and ice, that's a problem maybe. Hmm. 
But they can't really bounce their own Volumachus to send there again because now their Teferi just dies. They go to kill the Tef. Yeah, they can't time warp because this makes uh, this makes them cast the guard, and the fairy doesn't like fun. So there's that. That dies. They bounce their dude again. Very interesting. So now we just attack. They just take it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of both of the dwarves. Oh, what am I doing? I can just force this. Yeah, let's just do that. Nahiri the Harbinger. How do we get around tapping our dude? <laughs> this is how we get around tapping our dudes. And we have ephemery to protect this solitude. Kahira doing work. They're out of Dwarven Mines. They have a Velomachus in hand. They are out of Embercool. Yeah, the, their creativities don't do anything. They have like a shit ton of dead cards. Fire and Ice, also dead card, because this is now a 4-3. Sure, they can kill my Teferi, but... I think this one is locked up. I think my opponent literally has no win conditions. Like somehow, Ren Ultimate. That's my opponent's win con. It's the first time that I've seen my opponent bouncing their own Velomachus <laughs> in order to <laughs> in order to protect it from my removal. It's pretty funny. No, it was a good play. It was a good play, that's what I'm saying. Like it's the first time that I've seen something like that. It was pretty cool. I mean, it makes sense because they had their own Teferi going, right? Um, opponents played this really well. Matchup just looks so bad. Uh, yeah, my opponent played it very well, for sure. They did some desperate lines, uh, but I, I just think that they were forced to do those desperate lines. Um, I think that their deck doesn't really have an easy time uh, dealing with, with, with ours. See you next round. All right. Um, yeah, we're shipping this. Ugh. Am I just going to five here? Can I afford to go to five? Opponent also goes to five. Guess I'm gonna keep this on five, on six. Uh, artifacts are up a week. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And yeah, you you can't even play. You can't even play Hushbringer either. So my opponent moves to four. So I have to assume that it's drawn. 
Yeah. Yeah. Anything that I can trade this prismatic ending for, I will. Pretty awkward when I have I could play turn two recent read, but I, I literally think that I have to somehow make it so my opponent's hand is non functional. Cool deck is probably a play, but it's cool. I think it's excellent. It's very, very underplayed right now. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to do the same thing again. Reading pool. And now do this for red. I have the very uncomfortable feeling that I'm about to lose anyway. <laughs> uh, I have to name blue here. Mm. 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 Uh oh. Elemental. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Now we are going. Now we are going. Um. So anything that I can draw. It's just Omnath that matters. I think it really is just Omnath that matters. In the matchup at least. Sure, put that into play. Blue, white, play this. Swing plus. Do you think we will be playing the new white two drop that kills a walker or a creature from the new set? No, yeah, no, I don't think so. Wow, we got it. We got game one. That's huge. Alpine moons, forces, more forces, potentially foundation breaker. Fury out. Couple of solitude out. The fairy out, I think. Maybe I just need to play the fairy just because it's a clock. Um, play fury just because it's a clock. Something like this. No, I think Muldrifter is a blue card that I can pitch to force. Definitely don't like Endurance, but I think Muldrifter is... Like, it's better than other cards that I could play. Actually, I like ending in the Tron matchup if you don't have a good... If you don't have a good matchup, you can hit turn one artifacts to turn them off sometimes. Yeah, but it's it's too it's too much wishful thinking. Yeah, sure. Like we probably won because of prismatic end in that previous game, but I'm bringing in forces, right? Which is sort of the same deal. Estamos en la B. No, papá, en la B nunca. En la B jamás. El fantasmita de la B no te abandona nunca más, sino. Hallowed Fountain or Sacred Foundry? Probably Sacred Foundry. No, let's actually do Hallowed Fountain because I can hard cast the force. 
Oh no, I should have done Sacred Foundry because now I can't Flame Keen on turn two. Whoops. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Old frames crying. We really need. Um, I, I, my, my opponent's forest <laughs> lit up there. Uh, we're gonna say red here. Really gotta draw a force here. <sighs> Nothing we can do with that one. Elemental. So we did find the Omnath. So I'm just going to. Elemental here. Is there anything that we can draw? I'm gonna stack the recent Rift Trigger first to have more information before I use Flamekin. And now we can choose maybe. Only enough subtlety would be sick here. There's like a V matchup in which subtlety actually matters. I think I'm just gonna get a solitude. Just in case my opponent plays a warm coil. They're gonna have Tron if their last card is a Nugin. I'm gonna be in really bad shape. Blast zone. Don't be a Nogin. World breaker. <laughs> well, fuck me, I guess. Um Cool, cool, cool. So yikes. Uh, okay, so if we can dodge maybe one or two turns, we can be fine. We're gonna to need to get pretty lucky here. Or the cross and grip when you need one. Yeah, that's that's the play for next turn to evoke Mold Drifter. Um Actually now that I think of it. I think I punted here, and I should have done this. It draws me two cards, gets rid of the 5-7, finds me lands, hopefully. Yeah, I should have done that last turn too. Because I could have done that main phase. Fucked up. Oh, hello. Green, blue, red. They got blast zone. Yeah, but if they blast zone on one, then If they blast on on one, then uh, they don't blast on on three, which is what my opponent is planning to do here. But I think I want them to blast on on three, which is kind of awkward. So I'm just gonna do this here. I'm 
Can I put that into play even though it doesn't trigger the Omnath? Because I'm gonna draw two anyway, so I'm probably gonna have to go to this card. So we're gonna pass the turn. I think I'm pitching this Foundation Breaker. I'm just gonna pitch the Prismatic Ending. Foundation Breaker pitches to Force. Also draws cards if I wanted to. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's definitely pretty good. Okay. So we start over. One, two, three, four. Play on math. Force is a sick draw. Now we Alpine Moon. Name Ursa's Tower. And I think I'm just gonna hard cast one of these Furies to start putting on pressure. Also, I took damage for no reason. Don't worry about it. Oh, we don't have a blue card in hand. I just noticed that. Thrag Daddy. Yeah, Thrag Daddy is a okay. Five. We're gonna get a three three here, but then we have good attacks. That's a swag tusk, fair enough. Can't argue with that. Good old Swag Daddy. So now we're holding up force. I think that's fine. Of course, there's not that many cards that matter because of the Alpine Moon. Yeah, you, you may have been right, Connor, man. That was a slight misstep for me. This force is looking really bad. Um, probably gonna do this just to put pressure. So this is a two turn clock. It's 9.13. One scrying is fine. Obviously, I have a second blast on. But even if they do, there's nothing that they can really find here anymore. Sanctum of Eugenie is fine. Oh, that's right! I totally forgot to pop up the companion. Yeah, I fucked it up. You're, you're right, hundred percent, Jeff. Cat, you're hundred percent right. I should have honestly. I should have played the companion. Should have played the companion right there. That would have been lethal. Yep, you're very, very much correct. I'm just gonna play this, and I'm gonna name Blast Zone. I think. Although I guess they can't really. Pop this on five. I mean, even if they did, they're still dead to the Omnath. So maybe this should, this would have better been naming Ursa's Tower. I 
I'm forcing this because they only have access to five mana and nothing that they could have for five mana actually enables them to stabilize. Easy, easy to all against Ron. Let's go. Hello and welcome to round number five. This hand's not gonna cut it. Uh, this hand is better. So we can do here, maybe I should have shipped the land there. So I'm gonna get Rogin Triumph. Think of just playing Flamekin. I don't think my opponent is going to counter the Flamekin. So I'm going to play my land, play the Flamekin, see if my opponent wants to counter. They don't. Trigger on the stack, we fetch, go get a green source, probably a Temple Garden. And now we go get Recent Reef. And next turn we play Cavern and we play our recent reef. So it looks like my opponent may be playing. Oh, this is the blue white opponent that we faced in the Mono Blue Tron League, I think. Maybe? Maybe they're not. I know that we played we just played the league with Mono Blue Tron, and I know that we played against this opponent there, but I don't remember. Oh, they were playing Jeskai Murktide? Is that what it was, maybe? Attack! Good old cavern souls. So, please don't have fire and ice. Please don't have fire and ice. Please don't have. That's fire and ice. That is definitely fire and ice. Sadness. Sadness. Chill here. They're probably gonna have to defer one themselves in order to kill the Somnath. The Fire and Ice getting rid of the recent reef is, is a big deal though. The good thing is that we got uncounterable source to plushers to deal with their Merc Tides and stuff, so. We literally don't care about the card. I think I'm gonna be using the mana. Oof. That's a good one. So, fetch. This is five mana. With this plus one. So I guess I, I'm gonna do this. Fetch, play it tapped here. Let's do hollowed fun, eh, it's on the ground. We do that. Exile that dude. Put this in hand. For you. And we're protecting with ephemerate. Although I'm probably going to hold on to this ephemerate for a minute. 
until uh, you know to, to protect like a recent reef down the line or something. Fetch island, do nothing. Well, this one looks good. These also look good. And these look somewhat interesting, but not sure. Can go with something like this. Cavern of Souls, what a card! <laughs> what a card! Sure. Keep this. There's no way my opponent has Blood Moon, right? Like, Blood Moon is actually kind of good against their deck. So they cannot be playing Blood Moon. Oh, maybe I should have forced this. Nah, there's no way I'm forcing this. Nah. What I am going to do, though... I'm gonna play it fairy. And I think I'm blessing. Yeah, we're definitely blessing because we have the force. So now they can play Merc that and I just bounce it. Iteration. They don't have heat. That's fine. Missed land drop. Go to discard. You love to see it. Blue, blue, green. Play the reef. Play that. Plus there. Last the turn. Next turn we get to play Omnath. See my opponent's just gonna merc tight. They don't. Green, red, white. Play Omnath. I don't want to play a second recent reef when my opponent has shown me that they have access to to fire and ice. And if we find a fetch land or a land, okay, yeah, that's fine. So if we find a fetch land here, we don't. That's fine. We're still looking very good here. Next turn we can reef and the ferry. I think I'm gonna do Fairy and then Reef. 
And I think that matters because if my opponent has another Fire and Ice plus Bolt, they don't get uh, some sick value. So the very first blue, white one. See if opponent does anything. Counter spell. Blue, green, one. Faster. Okay, so now if they have bold plus um, bold plus fire ice, that's a problem. And they have exactly that. That's gross. Oh no, they draw three. Draw two. That's fine. Okay, and if we get to untap with like ephemerate and like all this stuff, I think that that should lock it up. It's pretty nice how Murktide doesn't do anything against us. Like Murktide is also almost a, 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 a blank card. Unless they have Blood Moon and they can stop the, the cavern, right? But, but it's pretty funny how like my opponent's gonna play a Murktide here and I'm just gonna solitude it. And <laughs> that's gonna be the end of it. Sure, you got it. No fetch land still. Proving how I lucky I how unlucky I really am. <laughs> Opponent has it enough. All right, uh, that was sick. Uh, yeah, Elementals is very good. I I'm liking this deck a lot. I think this is the deck that I would play if I had a competitive event this this weekend, like if the showcase or something like that uh, were happening this weekend. I would probably play some version of this deck. I've been doing really, really well uh, with it, and it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> Actually, I'm really having a good time playing this deck. And I feel like I'm constantly making mistakes with it, which I love. I love when I'm making mistakes uh, when I play decks, because it, it makes me makes me think that there's room for improvement. Um, there are a couple of things that I'm interested in, in, in trying out. The main deck felt really, really good. Maybe we can, if we cut a land, that could mean that we can play, I don't know, maybe another another uh, Endurance or another Muldrifter in the main deck. I've been really liking Muldrifter. Muldrifter is effectively, it just feels like another copy of Recent Reef. Less, uh, less, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Less snowbally than, than Recent Reef, of course. But it has felt like another another way for the deck to kind of keep keep um, a crew advantage once it's ahead and also a way to to draw four answers whenever you're behind so the deck is great deck is really great i am just very sorry that i can't build it in paper because i'm missing a bunch of cards but i'm hoping that eventually i will be, I will be able to play it in paper as well uh, hopefully you enjoyed the, the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.